Oh yes, so is it visible? Uh, yeah. Yes. So hello, I am Nirav Amrilya and to, uh, um, the metaphor I have given to literature is that space. Uh, space, why? Because uh, there are five grounds upon which these both stand together or by and by. Uh, here I have prepared one table, so if you can see through it. So the first thing is that both are, both phenomena are seamless possibilities. They both are having seamless possibilities into ever expanding vastness. So we cannot limit space. We just have to look at, we just have to explore it. So, so it's true with literature that we cannot repeat or that we cannot repeat what is done, but we have to look at uh, uh, with novel things or with novel the new things. And the second thing is they both are vast and unfathomable. So sometimes there are galaxies that we are that, that, that are yet to be explored. So there are some emotions in humans as well. So that are yet to be expressed in any way, like verbal article or anything, like writing also. Appealing sites and vistas that attract the curious mind. So in terms of space, we are having astronomers as curious minds. So they want to explore not what has been explored till the date, but what is to be explored there. And in terms of literature, there are literary authors. Uh, they want to explore the uh, human psyche. So not thoroughly in terms of physical manner, we are explored. That brain, then many are coming now because the brain is the most uh, complex and, and our psyche, generally we call. So not all the expressions we are expressing, we fail. Sometimes we fail to express whatever we are feeling thoroughly and the fourth one which are what happens whenever you seek to write then you have to be indifferent you have to be indifferent or you have to be unbiased to that so in space it is also there's a nature does not care for anything as the Nietzschean theory goes this existentialism that we are condemned to be free as John Paul Sartre has also tell, uh, told and the fifth one is ever present and interwoven into everything so space we say it is not there outside it is right within us <laughs> And but uh, in literature, it also happens, it is not somewhere that is the books are kept. No, we are living the life, so life is itself a literature for that. And on these five parameters, I've compared or juxtaposed the literature and space alongside. Thank you so much. Good, please. And the reader is an astronaut who is trying to explore the vastness, which is.